In this video I show you how to create this Instagram story animation that you see on the screen. If you are new to the channel, subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let's go! So since we are creating for an Instagram story, we can have this at 19, I mean 1080 by 19, 20, frame rate by 30, duration 10 seconds. We can give this a name, so I'll call this main conf. Click OK. So we have this type of screen and we need to create a few more compositions for future purposes so by clicking on this icon we create another composition i call this image with the same settings click ok do it again call this arrows click ok we do it again call this shadow click ok and for the last one we call this text now we can make a folder and then place all the compositions there so I call this comps and I select everything every compositions here and and then place this drag all of them to the folder so it takes less space and now we can go to image composition and then from project file, I already imported the image. I'll drag this here, close this, and then we can scale it to 60% and then move this to the center. Center the anchor point, control, alt, home. And now, and now we can just set a keyframe on scale at the beginning go to 7 seconds and then change the scale to 50 and now we select the keyframes press F9 and then go to graph editor drag grab this handle and then do an adjustment into the curve like so So we will be having this type of animation. And now we can copy this, control C to copy, and then go to go to shadow and then paste it here to shadow. So now we can go to arrows composition and then we create a square select rectangle tool and then while holding control and shift we create a perfect square like that we can from align panel we can align this into the center control alt home to center the anchor point and now we can go to add and then add trim pass to it and then open the settings for trim pass but first we need to change the i hit undo ctrl z for this one close the settings for now and then we need to change it to no fill so i alt click on this one and make sure I have no fill and then I can change the stroke to 180. Now we can add trim pass to it. So go to add and then add trim pass. Open the settings for trim pass and set the end to 50. And now press R for rotation and then set it to 45 now we can scale it up so it covers the whole thing so we get a, so we get an arrow shape and now we can animate the position so we go to the beginning and then change the y value of it until we can see it here on the screen set a keyframe on position now go to one second 
15 frames and then move this down until we can see it on the screen again and now select the keyframes press F9 go to graph editor and then grab this handle and do an adjustment like so and now we can press F4 if we don't see this options or just by clicking on here toggle switches slash modes I'll press F4 and then add a motion blur to it so this one I'll add a motion blur so as you can see with motion blur and without motion blur what it does so now we can duplicate this or I'll just rename this to I don't know arrow one duplicate this and then I'm gonna shift this displace this by five frames so I'll press alt and page down five times and now we can duplicate it so we get this type of animation we can duplicate it again and then we take off the stroke this time so alt click on this make sure it has no stroke and we make it have a fill and now we are gonna shift this or displace this by 20 or 15 frames so I'll press alt shift page down to shift it by 10 frames and then alt page down by 15 by 5 frames I mean so it's shifted by 15 frames from this one and then I can open the settings for this and delete remove the trim path settings for this one so I pressed on delete so now let's see so here we have our square that we took off the stroke and put the fill so we can press S and then scale it up so it covers the whole screen here right and now we can press U to view the keyframes I'll go to the last keyframe and then change the position for this one the Y value until it covers the whole screen so looking fine and now we can go to our main composition and then open the folder here and then we add image and arrows we drag this here and then we can set the track mat if you don't see this option press f4 or click here toggle switches slash modes i'll put image down here and then set the track mat of it to alpha mat so the arrows that we have here reveals the image so there's a problem with the third arrow so I'll go to arrow composition and then I go to the first keyframe and then take this out of the composition while holding shift so we can have a look at the animation again okay looking fine
we want to add this a blur effect so we go to image composition and then we select the image layer go to effects and presets type in gaussian blur this one we select it and then double click on it to add to the layer i don't know why we got two here so i'll delete, I'll delete this one and then i'll change the gaussian blur here to 25 so it's blurry i'll go back to main composition rather i'll go to arrows Control c copy this third arrow and then go to shadow and then Control v to paste it here and then i'll grab this one put it at the beginning and then i'll change the track matte option for this to alpha matte so we have this type of animation i'll press ctrl d to duplicate the arrow and for this one i alt click on this one and then take off the fill and then alt click on this one set the stroke to it i change the value to six and then make this visible by clicking on this icon i icon i make it appear so it's visible and now i want to add this another effect i go to image layer and then effects and presets add transform effect double click on this one add a transform effect and then we can animate the scale for this one as well so i'll go to one second set a keyframe on scale and then i'll move by 20 frames and then increase and for the first one i press u first one we increase the scale so to let's say it at 120 and then we move by 20 frames change this to 100 let's see if we can change this to 80 or 90 90 could look fine and then we can change this to one ten and then we can we select the keyframes move this somewhere around here and then select them press f9 to easy ease go to graph editor and then this time we make a peek into the middle So it looks like that. Looking fine. So now I'll press F4 and then add motion blur to the image layer as well. So that when it scales down it gets a little blurry. And now we can go to our main composition and then go to project settings and then this time we drag the shadow composition here and now we can place this right after the second arrow third arrow i mean right after the third arrow appears let's try here Okay, I think it's looking fine. I can move this to a little bit more to the left. 
So now we want to add a shadow to this border. So we, while having shadow layer selected, I go to effects and presets, type in drop shadow, double click on it. And then we change this direction to 180, distance 40 and softness to 65. So we can see without sh with shadow and without shadow by clicking on this FX icon how it looks like. And now we want to add a text animation. So we go to text composition and then we select horizontal type tool and then I'll be using this font here I decrease the tracking and now I can press ctrl alt home and then ctrl home to center this into the screen and now while having this layer selected I can go to I select rectangle tool and then I can turn on the title action save so I can view the center point and then create a mask like so. Close the settings, Ctrl D to duplicate the text. I move this down and for this one I press M to view the mask settings and then I select the mask one and now while having the selection tool selected, I select all the points for the mask and move while holding shift, I move it down. So I make sure it's in the center. Okay, looking fine. And now we want to animate this. So while having both of the selected, press P, set a keyframe on position and go to first second and now we animate each one individually so the first one here up here we while holding shift and up arrow we press three times shift and up arrow and then for this one second one shift and down arrow we move this down so we leave a space into the middle and now we select rectangle tool again while not having anything here selected and then we make sure that it has a fill and that, that it has no stroke we make a mask like that And then we can center the anchor points and align this to the middle. And then we can rename this, press enter, I'll call this mat. So now I'll turn this off by clicking on this eye icon, turn this off for now, and then duplicate one of those texts. Ctrl D to duplicate and then I'll move this, I'll press U to view the keyframes, delete the keyframes and then press M, I want to delete the mask as well. I move this up and then I give this a different text. So I change the font for it, I'll be using Montserrat regular probably and then I try to resize this so it matches here I'll press ctrl alt home to center the anchor point resize this and I might need to move this down a little more so it matches in the middle so I press shift and down arrow 
here for this one again shift up arrow so they match here in the middle I resize this I can resize this a little more and then increase the tracking like that and then I can align this into the center from align panel and yeah I think it's looking fine and now I'll turn this on and then change the track mat for this to alpha mat so now I'll press I need to animate the mat now so I'll press S set a keyframe on scale but I'll unlink this I'll uncheck this and then set a keyframe on scale I'll go to the beginning and then set another keyframe for scale and I'll change the y value for the first one to zero so we have this type of text reveal as you can see now I'll select all the keyframes Oops, I select the all the keyframes here, press F9 and then go to graph editor and we will make a peek into the middle. Zoom in if you need to. Let's have a look now. Yeah, I think it's looking fine. And now I'll move this keyframes to to the right side for now. I'll keep it here. I'll close the settings and now I'll give this another animation so I open the settings for this text layer I go to animate and then I add opacity I turn opacity down to zero and then open the settings for rain selector and then go to the beginning set a keyframe on offset and now I'll go to the first second and I'll change this to 100 and I'll open the advanced settings and now I'll turn on this randomized order so we should be having this type of animation and then I'll select the keyframes press F9 and I can do the same adjustment that I've done before And now I'll copy this animator one, copy control C and then paste it here. Oops, I'll go to the beginning and then paste it here. So I have this type of animation. So I'll check the keyframes. I can check the keyframes for all and then I can add this to somewhere around here okay so now I'll select everything ctrl a close the settings and then press ctrl shift c to pre-compose I'll call this titles click ok and now I'll go to FX and presets, type in transform, add the transform effect to this. So double click on it, and then I can change the skew to minus 15. Now I'll switch to 
main composition and then drop this text here up here and then make sure that it's I'll grab this drag this over here so we have this type of animation I can add a feel effect to this so it's not looking good at white so I'll add a feel effect keep it red it's and I think it's looking fine now we create another composition so go to project create another composition and then I'll call this swipe up click OK and now I'll select a rectangle tool make sure that it has no fill and then give it a stroke of 80 and now while holding ctrl and shift I draw a perfect square like that and then I can align this into the center ctrl alt home to center the anchor point and now go to add add a trim pass effect open the settings and change start this time we change start to 50 and then press R change rotation to 45 so now we can duplicate this ctrl D move this down ctrl D move this down as well we can select each one of this scale down or just I'll leave it like that and I'll change the scale of null object I'll parent us all to null so now to right click go to new create a null object and then control alt home control home to center the null here where this second arrow is in the middle and then we select the three of this parent this to null so we press s and then we can just scale this down like so and now we can just animate this so I'll press P set a keyframe on position move to one second set another keyframe go to two seconds and then I set another keyframe now time to animate this so I can change the Y value of it to until it it's here and here at two seconds I'll copy this first position actually so I'll copy this select first one copy and then paste it into the second one and then I move this just a little like that I copy the first one again and then paste it to the third one now I select all the keyframes, press F9 and now we can animate, we can adjust, I mean, the curves like so. So we have this type of animation and now we can go to text composition and I'll drag this swipe up to composition layers I'll go to text composition and drag this swipe up here let's have a look 
so I can scale it down even more and then press P I can change the position of it so now I'll go to let's see what the animation looks like I'll go to the beginning and then set a keyframe on position I'll move to one second I move this down here at the beginning and then I go to one second I bring this up and then I select the keyframes press F9 go to graph editor and then do an adjustment just like that I go to swipe up composition and then I select all the keyframes all click on position and then I add this expression so that it loops out forever And then I can drag this one here. Now I'll switch back to main composition and this, all this look red now, so I'm just going to delete this and then jump to text composition, titles here and I'll select the three of this and now I can just give this a red color. So I'll add red to this and when I switch back to the main composition, now we have this white. So let's have a look at it. Now I'll create a few simple text animations because it's taking longer than expected so I'll probably speed up the video.
And when we are done with all of this, we select the text layers and then press Ctrl X to cut this and then go to main composition and then Ctrl V to paste over here. And now we move to two seconds or so. And then we move this, grab this and move this to there to two seconds. Now we can have a look. I'll move this to the left a little. So now these are too close with the swipe up. So now I go to swipe up composition. Or can I just animate this from text? Let's see. So I press P. Or just with move tool. go to the second keyframe with move tool I can move it like so I switch back to main composition let's see what it looks like so I move this three layers or I can just sh I can just displace this swipe up okay now let's that should be it for the animation Now there is too much distance now, so I switch back to text and then I move it down just a little. Should be fine now. And that's the I added a drop shadow to all the text here, so it stands out a little. And we can have a look at the end animation.